This is my morning. They're playing the chicken dance and running circles. And it's 8.43 in the morning. Oh! <laughs> Ouch! Daddy! Daddy! Cluck, cluck! <laughs> you guys, I'm so tired. And they're running laps around me. <laughs> How is this real life? Yeah. Right there. Go, Gray! Say hi, Gray. Hi. Say hi, Felix. Felix says hi. Say hi. That's what Felix says. Hey, guys. So we are back from Grayson's first baseball game. He's had four practices so far, and then today was the first game. So his team is the San Diego Padres, and we versed the Orioles. It was kind of sad, only four kids ended up showing up to the game today. I think there's eight kids total. I guess a lot of kids were on vacation today, this week, I don't know. And so only four kids showed up. So it was like four kids against like a full team of eight kids. But it was fine. Um, Gray had a great time. He did so much better this time compared to last practice. The last practice he was not listening to his coach, he was playing in the dirt. This time he focused a lot more after Anthony and I gave him a lot of pep talks and he hit the ball. He needed the tee like twice. I think he hit the ball twice and then needed the tee twice when he hit, like was up to bat. And then he ran the bases fine. And then out in the field, he did okay. Towards the end, he actually did really good. At the end, he like started realizing like what if you caught the ball, you could try to tag the kid out before they got into the base. And so he enjoyed doing that. So he actually like went for the balls and tagged the kids out. In the beginning, he like did not care. And so he would just be like not paying attention. The ball would just roll right past him. So not the best, but he ended it really good. So And then they don't like keep score or anything like that. It's basically like every kid hits the ball, then they go to first base, and they wait, and then they go to second, third, and then home. So every kid gets a chance to bat. Every kid gets a chance to go to all the bases. So it was totally fine. 
so hot today is like a high of 90 yesterday it was like a high of 91 92 it's just super hot today and thankfully his game was at 10 30 this morning so it was starting to get hot porter and anthony just played at the park like there's a little playground right next to the field so they did that the whole time and porter was so red by the time we went home just from the heat we kept sunscreen on him so hopefully he didn't get too sunburned and then I pushed Avery in the stroller. She slept the whole time. She was the best out of all the kids. Of course, she's angel baby. And then, yeah, I just watched Grayson. So it was a good game. He has another game on Wednesday. So hopefully it won't be as hot. Gray also had picture day today. So they did individual pictures, then team pictures. But they only had four kids show up. So it was like a super small team picture, but still cute. So yeah, that was good. And then we're doing quiet nap time. I'm editing videos right now. And then once Porter wakes up and the heat hopefully goes away or lessens, I guess, Anthony is going to mow. And I think the kids are going to help or watch or whatever. So that's our plan for this evening. Not too much going on. And then tomorrow, I'll probably make this a two-day vlog. Tomorrow, we're going to go see our friends um, and hang out with them. They have kids that are, like, in between Grayson and Porter and Avery's ages. So we're going to go hang out with them. They got, like, some new water toys or something, so we'll go play outside. Busy weekend, kind of. Also, I wanted to let you know, I kind of feel like Avery has a lip slash tongue tie. I'm not an expert my two boys didn't have anything like this at least i don't think they did but i think avery has a lip and a tongue tie i thought it was only a tongue tie and then yesterday i feel like she has a lip tie too so i contacted the boys dentist grayson's dentist offers like lip tie like i think they call it a phrenectomy but they didn't have an opening until like june 21st and if it's like a real issue and it's affecting her i'd rather get it done sooner rather than later so i reached out to another place and i'm hoping to get a call on monday hopefully we could get her in sooner than that yeah i don't really know much about lip tie tongue tie because like i said i haven't had any experience with it while she nurses fine and she's gaining weight great a lot of the things that were on the list of like this might be a possibility from like a consequence from having a lip slash tongue tie and it was like constantly getting the hiccups um, getting a lot of gas, which she does. Um, when she nurses, if there's like a clicking noise, which she does, because I don't think, because I think she has a really shallow latch, and I think it's because her lip slash tongue tie doesn't let her have a deep latch. Like her latch looks so much different than what Grayson and Porter's does when they were her age. And then I think the big tell is we're trying to get her on bottles just so I can have some freedom. I've been talking about this in my vlogs. We have yet to find a bottle that she takes to. And I'm wondering if the lip slash tongue tie is affecting that. I wonder if that's why she's not able to do that or take that or a pacifier because she can't get a deep latch because of these lip slash tongue ties. So I'll keep you guys updated about that. I know it's like a really simple fix if she does have it. They have like lasers now and they just like laser it. And then I think you have to do like stretches every day for so long um, to make sure that like it doesn't grow back together. So I'll keep you guys updated if I get a sooner appointment. I'm really hoping to get it fixed soon. So I guess we'll see. Anthony's mowing. Grayson's riding his bike. What are you doing, Port? Porter's mowing. Oh, he got tired. Avery is loving her play gym. Oh, she was just smiling. Are you getting frustrated? Avery says, Avery says, <laughs> Do you like it, Avery? She's been kicking like crazy. Her little piano. Good girl. It looks like Anthony's done mowing. I think he's checking out our sprinklers. I saw them going for a second. Yeah, he's working on the sprinklers. Like one of them got like 
messed up or something so he's working on that i made dinner i made ravioli alfredo with shrimp i don't like shrimp but i know anthony does and he's trying to eat healthier i think shrimp is healthy right ravioli is not but shrimp is so this is what i made cheese ravioli shrimp and then an alfredo sauce to go on top of it. I haven't tasted it yet, but I've made this recipe before, so it's ready for when Anthony's done. And then we just got stuff in the mail. We got these even flow bottles, and I'm curious to see if they're gonna work with Avery. They definitely have a different nipple compared to like all the other ones. It's wore wide, which I would think that would work better because your nipple is wide. So I'll show you guys. So here's what they look like. As you can see, the nipple is wider. So I'm hoping it'll help her latch better. I have some breast milk in it now. So when she gets a little fussy, I'll try and feed this to her. And I really hope it works. My birthday is a week from today. Oh my gosh, I can't believe that. Ugh, I don't want to be 30. But Anthony says he has some surprise planned for me for my 30th birthday. And he says it's really imperative that Avery take a bottle. So I don't know what that means if I'm going to be like separated from her for a while, I'm guessing. So yeah, we need to get her on a bottle. And I'm trying really, really hard everything I can do to get her to take a bottle. So I'm hoping... It's fine. I'm hoping these even flows work. If you guys have any suggestions, please let me know down below because we are getting desperate.